This week's tip is about memories and how much the small memories really do matter and paying attention to those key factors in meeting with your clients. So at the final meeting with the bride and groom, they brought the bride's mother and the groom's mother, which doesn't always happen. I don't always get to meet the family a lot of times until rehearsal. So at this particular meeting, the groom's mother multiple times mentioned to me how the groom was such a picky eater growing up and even in college, all he would eat was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And she, again, she mentioned it a few times. So when the bride and groom left, the two mothers had ridden together. And so she asked me, can I make a little mini peanut butter and jelly sandwich? And there was like a special way that she rolled it. And can you put it on his plate at the head table during the wedding reception? And I thought, that's harmless, right? But I knew that the catering company that at the venue, they're super, super strict. They don't want any outside food. I asked them to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but the groom's mother was insistent that she make the sandwich and roll it specifically in a very specific way. So I thought, what harm? Just give me the sandwich. I'll put it up there. Well, when I had emailed the caterer about it, I copied the bride and she emailed me back and said, please don't do that. That's so stupid. We're grown. He doesn't need to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I emailed her back and I said, I really, really think it would be very special to him and his mother. You know, there's no harm in it. No big deal. And I just planned to do it. It seemed like it was something really important to the groom's mother. So on the wedding day, she brings me the sandwich. I put it up there. They go to the head table, everybody sits down, and the bride's father gets up there to make his toast. He does an introduction, and then when the groom and the bride and groom actually sit down at their seat to eat dinner, the groom looks down and he sees the peanut butter and jelly sandwich and he bursts into tears. And I've never seen the groom be emotional, and he's not that type of person that's really emotional. And his mom came over and hugged him, and it was just a really, really sweet moment. I'm not a crier, and I even got tears in my eyes because of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So when your gut's telling you to do something, and you think something's really important, go with your gut, try to discuss it with the client and the caterer, but it's those little bitty things that matter, and the groom and his mom, they're gonna remember that for the rest of their life. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.